What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics and up next we're going to talk about making trades with comic books and one that uh, I just finished. Stay tuned. Alright, so before we get started please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So I thought it might just be interesting to make this video because I don't do trades very often. I've had people reach out to me in the past, they've asked about if I wanted to do a trade with a book, that kind of thing, and usually my answer is no, I'm not really interested in trading. Because for me, a lot of the time, if I'm just swapping one for one, um, it's just there's not a real reason for me to do that trade, especially if it's a book that I'm planning on selling already, because then it's just another book that I'm gonna have to list instead and then I'm losing money on shipping, that kind of thing. So for me, there has to be a reason to do a trade. So there are lots of different reasons that you, you might wanna do a trade. Uh, one of them would, would definitely be if somebody just has a book that you really want. If it's something that's maybe a less common book, a more rare book, and you want that book and, and you've got something that, that could be valuable to trade uh, for that. Uh, another reason, and, and this was the case for me in, in this trade, is that I was selling a book that has a, a fair amount of value, but it also has a relatively small market. And so it can be difficult to sell, it can sit around for a while, that kind of thing. And so this person reached out to me and they said, hey, I've got these books that are probably easier to sell, would you be willing to, to do a trade? Uh, for that book for those and so I, I checked out the books I saw what he was offering and I said hey, I'd, you know I do it for these and he said sure and so we made the trade so that's another great case for doing that uh, Actually Alex the comic order talked about that exact same thing when he got his All-star comics number eight the first appearance of Wonder Woman He traded a whole bunch of his books for that one book and the reason somebody would be willing to do that is that Again, that, that All-Star Comics 8 is a very expensive book. It's uh, got a pretty small market for who's gonna be wanting to spend you know, 30, 40 grand <laughs> on, on a book. And so uh, if they can get 40,000 or maybe even more, $50,000 in books for trade, and then they can actually sell each of those individually and get that cash out of that book, that's just another way that somebody uh, would be willing to, to do a trade for that. Another reason it might just be, you know, if you wanted to get into some other types of books, somebody else was interested in what you had, you know, just doing normal types of trades. But for me, because it's usually a book that I'm selling and when someone is reaching out to me, the most common reason I'm gonna do a trade if, is if it's a book that is harder for me to sell that uh, then I'm getting books that are then easier to sell. So I've done, I think, three trades <laughs> in my entire comic uh, collecting career. One of them I would probably take back I, I, and, and not have done, uh, but still it's fine with it. The other two have been for situations like this. It was, uh, one of them was for Ginger Comics number one, which is kind of a golden age, good girl art type cover book that, again, just a little harder to, to sell, but still has a fair amount of value. And I traded it for some, uh, some different books. It's actually one of my earliest uh, YouTube videos. I traded it for, I think, an X-Men 13, uh, Batman 171, and uh, one other book, like a Fantastic Four 17 or, or something like that. And I traded him uh, that Ginger comics and then one other uh, Fantastic Four book as well. So that can be reasons for doing this. But in this case, so I've got this box here, which should have three books in it. And I traded uh, this book up over here, which is Creatures of the Id number one. And this is a book from Caliber Press that is the first appearance of Madman or Frank Einstein. And uh, he actually had a pretty decent run, you know, popular character through the 90s and uh, actually made an appearance, a pretty long running appearance in the recent crossover uh, series. So that's something that kind of, I think, brought a little renewed interest to that character. But it's a very difficult book to get in a 9.8. There are not many of them. I think it's like 37 because uh, it's a relatively low print run and again not the best quality materials used on those books so it can be tough to get high grades and so had that one for sale up on ebay uh, this person reached out to me and uh these are the books that i i traded for so um i'll get into this and while i do that I'll, I'll talk about i guess some of the concerns with trading as well i mean it's always one of the tricks it is always trying to get everybody on the same page with, with value everybody's trying to get the best you know, value they can for their books. And so coming to an agreement on that can, can sometimes be, be difficult. That can sometimes be a challenge with trades. Uh, the other concern is often that you don't actually know the person that you're trading with. Uh, I, I haven't known 
I, I've gotten to know one of the people pretty well after that, but uh, the other two trades I've done, I didn't know the person prior to that trade. And so then you're, you're trying to decide, do I, do I trust this person, you know, enough to, to send this, you know, thousand plus dollar book out, hoping they're also sending you know, their books back to me. And, uh, uh, so that's always that's always a, a potential risk, and so for this this case, uh, I'm I mean I'm up on on eBay. I have my hundred percent you know seller rating. I've got lots of feedback. So somebody at least has something they can see there. I'm also on YouTube, so somebody could come on and trash me here if I if I was a jerk and didn't send out those books. Um, but uh, you know the the possibility is always there that that you it could be somebody that's that's scamming you. So you just have to be willing to to take that that risk a little bit. Uh, he also he provided a reference. Um, so he had sold through Elite Comics 11 before, so I reached out to them and they said, yeah, everything went fine, you know, so, so I'm like, okay, so at least I have some point of reference. And, you know, then this person also had uh, a number of followers on Instagram and regular posts and, and that kind of stuff. So I just, I felt comfortable enough doing the trade. Now, so here, here are the books I picked up. Here's the first one. And this is Thor 337. And a 9.6, so it's the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. It's the, the direct edition. You can see Spider Man down there. And just a very popular book right now. Uh, there we go. Um, because there's, just, there's been speculation for quite a while that we will see this character in the MCU. Uh, I believe his face was one of the faces that was up in Thor Ragnarok on the, on the, the tower there as one of the, the champions. Um, so he did kind of make a little cameo there, but never actually in the in the flesh. It's going to be a, a weird character to see. He's kind of like a weird horse face type character, and so I'm, I'm curious how they will uh, they'll depict that and, and make that work out. But we did see Stormbreaker. You know that was a, a big part of the uh, Avengers Endgame and um, Infinity War movies, because uh, that's the weapon that was actually created for Beta Ray Bill. Um, by Odin, and so uh, so we, th there's little things that are teasers that we might see that character. But so this is one of the books. Uh, the second book, and this was a this is a fun one to get. Has been, you know, very popular recently. Maybe a little dip because of the uh, disappointment a little bit in the in the cartoon. But this is Masters of the Universe number one in a nine eight. And so nothing, you know, overly like key about it, other than it's just uh, the first issue in the series. He-Man got Skeletor on the cover there too. So just, uh, you know, fun book, nine eight, eighties nostalgia type book. You know, nineteen eighty six. And then the last book here, which shockingly, with the number of copies of this book that exist out there, I have never had a copy of this. <laughs> and this is. Spawn number one, and it's a 9.4, but it is the uh, the newsstand edition. And so the newsstand definitely is uh, a little more desirable in terms of, of Spawn. This, I mean, this book sells more than just about any other book in existence. I, I think it is constantly selling more than just about any other book because there's just a ton of them out there. And so it's never a bad book to have. It's always gonna be a very liquid book. And so you can see here, that was kind of what I was, what I was going for with this trade. You know, I've got books that I can sell easily. Spawn 1, you know, Masters of the Universe, you know, He-Man, who's been very popular recently, and then Thor 337, which is, again, a, a character that's been very popular, Beta Ray Bill, recently, and a lot of these issues have been selling. So that was really the, the main goal for me in this trade, is just basically moving, you know, trading one book for, for three other books that I can then sell more easily than, than that, that one book. So, uh, you know, I feel like they get the book that they want, you know, a book that's pretty uncommon in a 9.8 and um, can, be, is, can be pretty expensive, especially on eBay, uh, and giving me, you know, these books in trade. And I, I don't know exactly where he got these, you know, these ones from. It's possible that, that he got these raw and, and uh, got them graded and has very little in them, and so it's an extremely good trade for him. But <laughs> for me, all I'm really, really looking at is, is the value in that book and, and what I can then sell it for since... That's what I was planning to do with the other book. All right, so that's my trade. You know, I, I, the Creatures of the Dead one for Spawn number one, Thor 337, and Masters of the Universe number one. Uh, so let me know, are there are there any other trades that, that you've done, any big trades, small trades that, that you've made? Uh, let me know in the comments. Are there any 
disastrous trades maybe that you've made where, where you did send something and, and didn't get something in return or got, got less than what you expected. You know, this was exactly what I expected, so I'm, I'm very happy with this trade. I thought it worked out well for, for both parties. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was useful, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. I've got videos over here. If you'd like to click on those, watch some other videos, and I've got the subscription button right here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.